Hello and welcome to Red Stabler channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a real-time line chart with JavaScript using Plotly.js, a charting library that was built on top of D3.js and StackGL, very useful for displaying various chart types with great performance and also support 3D charts using WebGL. Ready? Let's check it out. First, if you are not using npm, let's start with downloading the latest version from GitHub and include it to your page using script tag. And next, create a div element for the chart. Now we will need to retrieve the data point to stream the chart. This can be in form of ajax call to the API endpoint, or it can be the result from the calculation on your own website. Anyway, for the simplicity, we will use random value for this tutorial. And next, we will create a line chart using plotly.plot function and pass the element ID as first parameter, followed by the chart definition object. First is the y axis data array. So I'm going to pass an array and call getData function to retrieve the first data point for our chart. And next, we will set the chart type to line as we want to create a line chart. If you run the code now, you will have a chart with our first data point. And next, we will add the code to automatically retrieve the next data point and update the chart. I'm going to use set interval for every 200 milliseconds. This will be your chart's updating frequency, and you can change the interval time as you like. Now inside, we will call plotly.xtrendTraces. This is the basic function to extend the current chart with a new set of data points. We will pass the chart element ID followed by the data object. You will notice that I used 2D array because Plotly support multiple traces in a single chart. So you can provide multiple data arrays for each trace with a single call of this function. And the last one is the array of index of chart traces that you want to extend with the data provided. Since we only have one trace, we will use zero. So let's see how it works. Now, if you want the chart to slide along with the new data like this, we can use relayout function to update the x-axis range. First, create a counter and increment it for each time the new data point is appended. Let's say if you want to display 500 data points before we begin to slide the chart, we will pass our chart element ID as usual. And next, we will redefine the x-axis range. We will set the starting value to the current count minus by 500 and use the current count as ending range. And that's it. Let's see the result. So that's all for this tutorial. Please find the link to the code at the video description box below. Please feel free to like or subscribe if you want to stay updated with us for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.